streaming live on News8000.com. This is News 8 Now, this morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Alexandra Carter. I'm Jeff Anders. It is Monday, January 22nd, 2024. Thanks for starting your week with us. The warm-up is here. How's it feeling out there? <laughs> I guess technically it is. I mean, we are in the 20s right now. Right. I, I, I don't really want to backtrack too far because it'll kind of bum me out how cold it was with the, the below wind chills, oh, uh, below zero by far. But yeah, certainly it's an improvement, big improvement. Feeling a lot water. better. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, uh, here's where we're sitting right now in the 20s. I'm a little overly zealous, I would say, as far as the temperatures. It is 12 in Eau Claire, 15 in Ladysmith. And why? We have southerly flow right now, and it hasn't really impacted as far north. It's in the process. 24 La Crosse, 23 Viroqua, same for Sparta. All right, compared to yesterday at this time, 20 to 30 plus. Generally 20 degrees warmer than yes, or, uh, yeah, yesterday at this time. Sparta is kind of an anomaly. Here's the wind we're seeing out of the south, southwest generally. Funneling in some milder air. A lot of cloud cover for us at this point. To the bottom, to the southeast is where, towards Madison, a little bit of precipitation right now in the form of flurries, maybe some light snow in some spots. Not really expecting anything popping up. All right, here's how the day looks for us today in the 30s with cloudy skies. Some of your takeaways, a mild week, rain, snow, a mix as possible, a cloudy week as well. I'll go through that in detail. Your full forecast is less than 10 minutes away. Alexander? All right, Jeff, we will see you then. Thank you. Time now for the stories making headlines this morning. The U.S. Central Command says the two U.S. Navy SEALs who went missing at sea off the coast of Somalia are now presumed dead. That announcement comes after a 10-day search and rescue operation failed to locate the missing servicemen. The two went missing while attempting to board a ship to search for Iranian weapons. The commander of the U.S. CENTCOM issuing a statement saying, quote, we will forever honor their sacrifice and example. Our prayers are with the SEALs' families, friends, the U.S. Navy, and the entire special operations community during this time. To the campaign trail now, it is officially a two-person race for the GOP presidential nomination after Florida Governor Ron DeSantis suspended his campaign yesterday. DeSantis said he does not have a clear path to victory. With just a day before voters head to the polls, Donald Trump and Nikki Haley crisscrossing the state while stepping up attacks on one another. CBS News correspondent Penny Commit has more from Manchester, New Hampshire. It's clear to me that a majority of Republican primary voters want to give Donald Trump another chance. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis suspending his campaign yesterday, throwing his support behind former President Trump and taking a parting shot at former GOP rival Nikki Haley. We can't go back to the old Republican guard of yesteryear, a repackaged form of warmed over corporatism that Nikki Haley represents. That's the sound of a two person race. Yet on the campaign trail, both Haley and Trump wish DeSantis well. I'd like to take time to congratulate Ron DeSantis. And they continue to trade barbs. The majority of Americans disprove of Trump and Biden. She's unelectable. Haley even questioned Trump's mental fitness after he appeared to confuse her with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi while discussing January 6th. Nikki Haley is in charge of security. We offered her 10,000 people. I wasn't even anywhere near the Capitol. The reality is he was confused. With just one day until the nation's first primary election, multiple polls are still showing Donald Trump with a double-digit lead. I hope that Trump wins. I believe he will. More or less rooting for Nikki Haley at the moment, just because um, I want Trump to lose. Meanwhile, Democrats are organizing a write-in campaign for President Biden, since his name will not appear on the ballot. The president's name isn't on the New Hampshire ballot because he's complying with the Democratic Party's decision to make South Carolina its first primary state. This week, the Biden administration and campaign are both focused on abortion rights to mark the anniversary of the landmark Roe v. Wade decision. Vice President Harris set to deliver a speech later today here in Wisconsin. 
and back here at home this morning. We're getting more details about a car fire in Vernon County last week. Around 5 p.m. Wednesday, the Vernon County Sheriff's Office responded to reports of this vehicle on fire in the town of Jefferson. When responders arrived, the engine compartment was fully engulfed, as you see in this photo. The fire had also spread to the vehicle's interior. The fire was quickly extinguished by crews when they arrived on scene. No injuries reported, but the vehicle was a total loss. The incident remains under investigation. Members from the Cooley Region Coalition for Palestinian Rights met at the Winona Art Center this weekend to discuss the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. The community conversation aimed to educate and foster engagement and curiosity toward the Palestinian cause. One Lebanese American member said it's very important to have in-person conversations about these topics. It's really important to offer chances for people to come together in person. There's a lot of access on social media, online news. Uh, we feel like it's really important to have person-to-person -person engagement. For more information on this story, head to our website, news8000.com. La Crosse's snowmobile trails will be closing this morning. According to an email from La Crosse County, all snowmobile trails in the county will close at 7 a.m. Due to deteriorating trail conditions and forecasted warm temperatures, it's unclear when the trails will reopen. With snowmobile trails closed for the season, winter sports enthusiasts in La Crosse are turning to other activities to get their outdoor fix. That includes ice skating, now that the Pogue Park rink just opened for the season yesterday. The hours this season are Monday through Friday from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. and Saturday, Sunday and non-school days from noon to 8 p.m. Uh, me and my friends, we were looking for something to do and this is a nice, fun, free activity. Skate rentals and skate helpers are free of charge at the rink. Although parts of our viewing area are expected to warm up over the next few weeks, now may be the best time to make sure your car is prepared for the next winter storm, including making sure your tires are properly inflated. John Shumway reports on the importance of checking your tire pressure and how to reflate inflate tires that are lower than they should be. You look at your tires and nothing seems out of the ordinary. But if that light is on, your tire pressure monitoring system has detected a tire running lower on air than it should. It's a huge difference. Uh, if you're running on low uh, tire pressure, the tires on uh, the handling will be unpredictable. Um, the braking will also be unpredictable. So when you have low air pressure in your tires, it's going to be harder to drive your vehicle, harder to handle the vehicle. At Troubleshooters in Ross Township, Tim Dietz and the crew have seen their share of what underinflated tires can do. So now you're running a tire that's maybe eight, nine pounds low, and you hit a hole, and it'll blow the tire out. The lack of air pressure causes the sidewalls to get soft, and your control gets soft, too. We call it a, a, a low-speed shimmy, um, so that the car will actually move a little bit from right to left with low tire pressure. So Tim says if your light is on, Make your first stop an air pump and don't go by sight. Check them all if you don't know. Bottom line, as long as this light is on on your dashboard, you're driving in an unsafe condition. So check inside the door frame of the driver's side door for a sticker. It'll tell you exactly the air pressure you need to have in your tires. Inflate to that number. Do not over inflate your tires because that could create other safety issues. AAA also recommends packing an emergency kit in case you get stranded. Some of the things you should include in that include uh, mobile device charges, a first aid kit, water bottles, and non-perishable snacks, as well as extra clothes to help keep you warm. The time now is 6.07, still ahead on your morning news. A yogurt company has a new contest encouraging people to stop using their cell phone for 30 days. Could you do it? We'll take a look at the digital detox and how you could win $10,000. And gas prices currently not looking too bad, but that may soon change. After the break, we'll take a look at how last week's winter storms and disruptions in shipping routes in the Red Sea could potentially make prices at the pump go up. For now, we're sending you to break with something to put the good in your morning. Caught on camera out of Wichita, Kansas. The fire department was put to the test to rescue a swan stranded on a frozen lake. Residents at a nearby apartment complex called to say the bird had been there for a few days. The rescue effort didn't take too long to get the swan, there you see it, covered in a blanket and eventually brought back to dry land. 
firefighters using their rescue as another reminder to people not to try to do it yourself. Leave it to the professionals. Don't go anywhere. Your consumer news at News 8 Now this morning is after the break. It's a robotic money expert. Clever. How do I start a savings habit? Famous cabbage. Savings habit. Shaving rabbits. Tech can make life simpler, but when it comes to savings habits, nothing's as simple as BMO. A BMO savings account helps you build the habit with a cash reward every month you save. Cash reward? Ingenious. Sardine fest. This year's top prize goes to BMO. I'm just in it for the saving. But it's nice to be recognized. BMO. They say post it or it didn't happen. But out here, in the places we were made for, You'll have to take our word for it. Find somewhere the internet's never been. With the family of Broncos designed to get you there. Get one nine financing for 66 months plus 2,000 flex by cash on Bronco Sport. Only at your local Northland Ford dealers. It's happening this weekend. The King Furniture 72-hour mattress sale with incredible deals on the most comfortable mattresses. Take 10% off every mattress in our store. Plus get 12 months interest-free financing. Get your choice of a plush or firm therapeutic hybrid queen mattress for just $9.99 and get free delivery too. The King Furniture 72-Hour Mattress Sale. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday only. Did you touch the thermostat? Did you turn it up? Of course not. Did somebody fiddle with the thermostat? Dude, it's 85 degrees. 85? Do you have any idea what a couple degrees will do to our gas bill? Why is it so hot here? Someone turned up the heat. What do you think you're doing? I like to sleep with my window open. You are not supposed to touch a thermostat. God. The most important value of our law firm is our commitment to our clients. The best part about dealing with Schwebel, Getz, and Sievent was how much they took off my plate. My mind was at ease. They just wanted me to heal. The staff and my attorney were wonderful. I highly recommend Schwebel, Getz, and Sievent for any personal injury. And I always refer my friends. They're the best. Go to schwabel.com and fill out a free online case evaluation. There is no fee unless we win. Walt never smoked a day in his life, so when he developed a bad cough, we never thought lung cancer. But that's what it was. What gives a non-smoker lung cancer? A friend suggested we check the house for radon. Sure enough, it was high. We've had it taken care of now, but I wish we'd known sooner. Walt died four weeks and five days after the diagnosis. If you haven't had your home checked for radon, do it. Do it for your family. No one should lose someone they love because of this. Good morning. Glad you're with us. Almost quarter after six. It's uh, about 612 right now. 20s across the area. Got some spots for the north in the teens. Why? Southerly winds working their way in, bringing in more uh, uh, warmth and also a little more moisture as well. High temperatures today, quite a change from, well, a week ago or really a few days ago. 32 the expected high in Bangor. Middle Ridge 31, Mindoro about 33 for the high temperature. Our southern zones like Prairie du Chien and Harpers Ferry, uh, Wazika, Steuben, Gaze Mills about 33 for the high temperature. 34. Mondovi for the high, 35 Alma, Whitehall 33, Winona, Trempolo expecting highs today about 33. A little further north, Cornell 31, Chippewa Falls and Eau Claire 32, Duran 34, Pepin 35. You're outside this morning, waiting for a ride, doing what have you. In the 20s for the most part, there's a little bit of a breeze, so you're going to feel a wind chill. It's still on the chilly side, but not that bitter cold. On the way home, about 33, cloudy skies, with well, still a little bit of a breeze. All right, this is what we're looking at today. Dry, not looking at precipitation, but we have a few opportunities at getting some precipitation. Could be in various forms. I'll go through that. I have your full forecast. That's coming up in less than five minutes. 
In your consumer news this morning, a salmonella outbreak linked to cantaloupe is now over. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention making that announcement. More than 400 people became sick in 44 states after eating the cantaloupe. That led to 158 hospitalizations and six deaths. The Malchita and Rudy Brown cantaloupes were sold at a number of retailers, including Quick Trip, Kroger, and Trader Joe's between September and December of last year. Buffalo Bills fans who watched their team lose to the Kansas City Chiefs are still trying to shake it off this morning. The Bills and the team's food service partner debuted new specialty concession items for the divisional round matchup. A couple of the items inspired by the Chiefs' most famous fan, Taylor Swift, and some of her greatest hits. That includes the Bad Blood Waffle Fries and the Karma Quesadilla. And for Bills fans who want nothing to do with NFL's most famous love story, there is always the Kansas City Bowl of Tears barbecue. How long can you go without your phone? One company willing to pay people $10,000 to do their digital detox. No phone at all for an entire month. Could you do it? Siggy's Dairy, which makes Icelandic style yogurts, says it's nice to live a simpler life with fewer distractions. And as we all know, many of those distractions come from the phone. In addition to the cash, other prizes available include three months worth of Siggy's yogurt, a one month prepaid SIM card, that seems kind of counterintuitive there, and appropriately enough, a smartphone lockbox. For those willing to put down the phone, more information is available on Siggy's website. Earlier in the hour, we talked about keeping your tires inflated and having at least half a tank of gas in your vehicle when driving in the winter. But unfortunately, you won't be able to go anywhere if you don't have that fuel in your car. And although prices at the pump are holding steady for now, the winter weather is slamming the nation and disruption in trade routes in the Red Sea could possibly start making prices at the pump go up. Mike Valerio takes a look at the road ahead. Historic cold and deadly winter weather taking a toll on oil production in the U.S. There can be unexpected outages caused by the freezing temperatures. There can be power losses. Pipelines that deliver natural gas to refineries can freeze. And so we have seen uh, several major refineries in Texas shut down because of the extremely cold weather. In the Middle East, critical shipping lanes disrupted by attacks on vessels by Iran-backed Houthi militants from Yemen in retaliation, they say, for the war in Gaza. And what's happening in the Red Sea with the Houthi militants has driven up oil prices as many vessels have been avoiding the Red Sea. That's driving up transit time. Yet despite these cascading crises, gas prices across America are holding relatively steady in the low $3 range for a gallon, according to AAA. It stands at $3.09 a gallon. That price uh, still uh, considerably lower, about 29 cents lower than what we were paying last year. Gas Buddy's Patrick DeHaan says overall global demand for oil is down and a dramatic shift to above average temperatures in the U.S. next week could counter any impact of recent refinery shutdowns, keeping prices steady. But some pain at the pump may be in the forecast as winter starts to loosen its grip next month. The national average will begin its seasonal rise and escalating tensions overseas may finally hit wallets here at home. If oil production eventually is impacted, then these geopolitical tensions certainly could be more impactful in the weeks and months ahead. According to AAA, currently the average price for a gallon of regular gas in Minnesota is $277. Here in the Badger State, it's $272. That does it for your morning consumer news. The time now is 617. Time to check in with News 8 meteorologist Jeff Andrews for a look at today's forecast. Hi over there. Hi over there. <laughs> yeah, I saw the temperatures. Well, I've been watching the temperatures since yesterday afternoon. They've been slowly on the rise, just slowly. We're in the 20s across the area, La Crosse 24, 12 in Eau Claire. Why? We have southerly flow. It hasn't really impacted. It takes a second. Well, Maybe a few hours, right? We have the south winds generally in the 5 to 10 mile an hour range for the north Lake Eau Claire. Lady Smith, there's not really any kind of a wind right now. That's why the feels like temperature, same as the air temperature, 12. 13 is what it feels like in La Crosse with a 10 mile an hour wind. Similar situation in the teens, Bosque Bell, Prairie du Chien, Decorah. You get the general idea. All right, headed towards the 30s. Going to let you know that part. Last time we saw a temperature, 33 or above was January 10th. Seems longer than that. That's less than two weeks. In 2021, Eau Claire spent 10 consecutive days below 10 degrees. La Crosse, five consecutive. Here's what's behind it, generally. 
Southerly flow, an atmospheric river bringing in moisture. That's part of what we have going on. I want to show you a closer shot. For us, just cloud cover. Here's La Crosse. You see to the south and east, Chicago, Madison. It's in the form of light snow flurries, wintry mix, maybe some icing in there as well. We just have cloud cover across our area at this point. That's my expectation for the day. That's what I'm seeing on Sky Tracker too. Look at 3 o'clock this afternoon. You can see it's cloud cover across our portion of the state. Into the evening, same situation as well. Tomorrow morning, all right, cloudy for us, but you see what's to the south and the east. Snow, potentially some spots. Southeastern Wisconsin could see two, four inches of snow to start out Tuesday. Cloudy, we go through the day today, making our way into the low 30s with a south breeze, 10 to 15 miles an hour. Here's what's behind it, the upper air pattern. See the southerly flow? Here's where we are, all revolving around that. There's the Canadian cold air. That's where it is. That's where it can stay. Here's what it looks like as we get into Wednesday. It does shift the pattern. The ridge shifts off to the east, but we're still in a good spot. We'll probably see the temperatures drop back a little bit towards the weekend or early next week, rather. But 34 for a high today, dropping down to 30 tonight. You see what we have this week, mid upper 30s, mild, and a few chances at seeing some precipitation in there. Alexandra? Looking pretty good. Thank you, Jeff. The time now is 620. Still ahead on your morning news. The number on the scale doesn't tell the whole story when it comes to healthy weight. While BMI, BMI is often used as an indicator, experts say other measures like body fat percentage and weight circumference provide key insights too. Coming up, we'll share why the scale reading alone doesn't determine if you're at a healthy weight. Coming up in sports, here from the Green Bay Packers after Saturday's heartbreaking playoff loss. They had their chances, but it's a game that's going to sting a little more than usual. That and more coming up in the Morning Blitz. We've done many, many renovations. We bought an old house and have made it into an up-to-date house. Whenever anything involves plumbing, the first call I make is to Maxwell White. Their technicians put together a great final product. Luther High School is a powerhouse in culture and fulfilling the needs of each student. We recognize the future needs of all students, whether it's a four-year college, trades, or a trade school. Our on-site industrial arts program offers advanced welding, advanced woodworking programs, and our Industry 4.0 classes allow stackable credits at technical colleges throughout Wisconsin. Luther High School, Christ-centered, encouraging and preparing students for life. Schedule your tour today. Go to lutherhigh.org. It's the big game. And the big game sale here at Carl's. Save up to 45% on major appliances. Buy any LG four-piece kitchen package, get up to $500 back, plus a free 55-inch TV. Save with exclusive Carl's rebates. Get free dishwasher installation. Save up to 80% on fireplace stands. Save up to $700 on Serta iComfort Eco Mattresses. All LG and Samsung TVs are on sale, too. Don't miss the big game and the big game sale. Carl Zer servicing dealer since 1956. I'm, 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 hold on, I'm coming. You didn't tell me you were getting McDonald's. Buy a sausage biscuit, sausage McMuffin, or sausage McGriddles and get one for $1. News 8 Now and Dairyland Power Cooperative present the Community Calendar. It's time for La Crosse's 32nd Annual Great Tri-State Rail Sale with over 300 vendor tables featuring all scales, equipment, and accessories. Saturday, January 27th at the La Crosse Center. Come join us for the 101st Annual Snowflake Ski Jumping Tournament, February 2nd and 3rd, County Road P, Westby. For more information on these events or if you'd like to submit an event, visit news8000.com. Whether it's a bathroom remodel or comprehensive plumbing services, we at Maxwell White strive to keep our neighbors safe and comfortable in their homes, offering honest, upfront pricing on every service, all backed by a 100% satisfaction guarantee. Call Maxwell White today. Underage tobacco and vape sales are on the rise in Wisconsin, but are they actually underage? There's a legal loophole contributing to the rise, frustrating lawmakers and retailers. The effort to fix it Thursday on News 8 at 6. Welcome to the Morning Blitz. It's a rough start to the week for Packer fans after a heartbreaking loss on Saturday to the 49ers. Green Bay fell short 24 to 21, and even though nobody thought the Packers were gonna be in this position, there were still a ton of opportunities Green Bay left on the table. Let's take a look. The Packers offense 
came out moving the ball. They got a field goal on their first drive of the game, and then in their second red zone drive on fourth and one, the love shove stopped short of the first down marker. It was close, but Green Bay turns the ball over with no points. Then on their third trip to the red zone, third and goal, but love forced to throw it out of the back of the end zone, which would lead to another Packer field goal. So three red zone trips, but just six points. For the defense, you gotta limit the big plays and Darnell Savage misses a tackle here, which allowed Christian McCaffrey to go 39 yards up the middle and allowed San Fran right back in it. But maybe the mistake people are gonna remember the most was the missed field goal, a chance to go up seven, but Anders Carlson hooks it left from 41 yards out and the rest was history. San Francisco drives down the field. McCaffrey rushes it in with just over a minute to play and the Packers playoff run came to an end. A good season, but a tough way to go out. Well, I think anytime uh, there's a finality to the season, it's always tough unless you're the last team standing. And um, for us to, to lose this game um, certainly stings and I'm sure it's gonna sting for a long time. It'll sting just knowing that, you know, we had an opportunity to win. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we dropped the ball on that one. So um, it'll sting for a while, but uh, yeah, I think, you know, we'll be able to look back on it, um, you know, see some some good things we did. Um, and obviously going the off season, just trying to work on the things that um, we didn't do as well and things we need to get better at. Um, but definitely just, you know, gonna get to it and attack it, but it'll, it'll sting for a while. Yes, the loss hurts, but after the game, there were a bunch of players talking about next year and how they're already excited for the future. And Packer fans won't have to worry about their quarterback requesting a trade or threatening to retire. Jordan Love is here to stay. All right, the weekend is over and that means the championship round is set in the NFC. The 49ers will be hosting the Detroit Lions at 5.30 p.m. next Sunday. And then earlier in the day, the Chiefs go on the road, taking on the Ravens. That one's set for two o'clock right here on CBS. All right, that's gonna do it for the Blitz. We'll see you tonight. For a state-of-the-art after-sales experience for your Audi, other high-end and European vehicles, there's one place to go. Maury's Audi in Onalaska. Highly trained, Audi-specific technicians will take care of your vehicle while you wait in an exclusive cafe and lounge. Schedule today. Spectrum Mobile brings you our best deal to start the new year. Now you can get unlimited mobile for $15 per line. Switch to Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for just $15 per line with no added taxes or hidden fees and no contracts. Save over $1,400 for the first year. Call 855-231-7007. Spectrum Mobile includes nationwide 5G and the fastest wireless speeds with unlimited talk, text, and data. Switch to Spectrum Mobile Unlimited for just $15 per line. Call 855-231-7007 or visit a Spectrum store near you. Menards has everything you need to give your bathroom an updated look. Check out our great selection of Dakota vanities. They feature generous interior storage and a variety of styles and finishes to choose from. This 24-inch Monroe vanity is only $119.99. Dakota closets are the solution for when it comes time for upgrading storage. Menards carries a great selection of Dakota closets that are perfect for any space. Right now, get this wooden closet system for only $324.95. Save big money at Menards. Hello, I'm Christy Halenka, Reading Program Chair at Viterbo University. Viterbo is proud to serve our area communities by providing programs that produce quality educators and leadership in our schools. Viterbo University is once again partnering with News 8 to recognize outstanding classroom teachers in the area. We look forward to working with generations of teachers and change agents for years to come. Do you know a top-notch teacher? Then go online to news8000.com or write to this address. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You can even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. 
Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. When your vehicle needs service, go to Maury's VW in Onalaska. Competitive rates and highly trained automotive technicians will have your Volkswagen or other domestic vehicles back on the road. While you wait, feel the friendly, upbeat, and engaging energy flow of our service lounge. Schedule today. Download the News 8000 app today. You expect more, so thank you for watching News 8 Now. Welcome back. In your morning medical news, Wisconsin's Department of Health Services recommending blood lead tests for all children across the Badger State. The DHS says childhood lead poisoning remains a serious public health threat. Despite significant progress in recent decades, lead can still cause irreversible damage to a child's brain as it develops. Lead poisoning often shows no obvious symptoms, which the DHS says makes early detection crucial. The DHS recommends children ages one and two have blood lead tests done. They also say kids three to five who have not been tested should receive testing. Members of Congress calling on the FDA to review the dietary supplement Tyneptine linked to seizures, overdoses and deaths. The FDA previously warned about side effects, but the supplement is often used in Europe to treat depression. Currently, it's banned as a medical treatment here in the U.S., but it still can be purchased at gas stations. Lawmakers requesting review say new reports show Tyneptine is highly addictive with, with, with opioid-like withdrawal symptoms. You may have added eating healthier or losing weight to your list of New Year's resolutions, but some health experts believe that when you're determining if you're over or underweight, you shouldn't just take the number on the scale as the only factor. Mandy Gaither takes a closer look at some other factors you should consider when determining a healthy weight and why not all dietary changes and exercise aren't always the best solution for everyone. In the U.S., it's long been considered a serious health issue. Being overweight or obese can lead to dangerous problems. But when it comes to the number on the scale, one size may not fit all. You can't just judge the book by its cover and assume right. that someone that is larger is unhealthy and someone that is lean is healthy, right? That's, that's the assumption that people make. And I call that practicing street corner medicine. In the Chasing Life podcast, obesity medicine physician scientist Fatima Cody Stanford says weight doesn't necessarily dictate health. She says it's just one factor that plays a role, but by itself, it doesn't give the whole picture because it doesn't show a person's ability to function and perform at that weight. Someone who's lean may be very unhealthy and someone who's heavier may be healthier. While healthy eating and exercise are both important to health, some experts say not everyone will lose weight that way and the research around obesity is changing. What we're starting to see is that there are actually different types of overweight and obesity, different classes. You can even call them class A, class B, class C, and they respond to different things. Dr. Sanjay Gupta says there are some people who respond better to healthier lifestyle changes while others won't. That's why he says weight loss drugs are gaining popularity because of the number of people they can potentially help. What the challenge is for a lot of doctors, especially obesity medicine doctors, is trying to figure out which class of people, uh, a class of patient they're actually dealing with. Dr. Stanford also warns severe obesity is only classified by a person's body mass index and that it may not give patients and doctors the whole picture. Other things to look at include cholesterol, fasting, insulin, glucose, and liver function. The water quality of the Upper Mississippi River system directly impacts your drinking water. A new report analyzing data from 1989 to 2018 shows improvement, but room for more. Heavy metals and phosphorus levels have declined, but nitrogen and chloride are rising. That's according to the Upper Mississippi River Basin Association's report. The system spans five states, including Iowa, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. The Chaseburg community is celebrating the 54th annual Trail Days, which took place this weekend. Officials told News 8 this is the first time in a long time the trails have been open for people to ride their snowmobiles. The event featured a chicken queue, parade, and raffle drawing. Um, so the raffle is top prize is $1,000, second is $500, and third place is $250, and then smaller increments on down. For more information on this story, visit our website, news8000.com.
Couples getting ready to tie the knot got firsthand wedding inspo and vendor hookups this weekend at the 2024 Lacrosse I Do Expo. The event allowed blushing brides and grooms to be to link up with booth vendors for their upcoming nuptials. Guests eager to walk down the aisle connected with fellow engaged couples and even got the chance to book wedding services on the spot. So I mean, we do have a few more weddings in the future with other families, so it was like, well, we could just take our time. We were one of the last ones to get engaged in the family, so we wanted it to be about us, so we decided to push it out a little bit further. And for more information on this story, head to our website, news8000.com. Animal aficionados got their claws on adoption opportunities, pet supplies, and more at the Onalaska Pet Expo this weekend. Lizards, snakes, guinea pigs, and more, all there hoping to find their forever homes. Attendees also had a chance to stock up on essentials like toys, food, and other creature comforts. The organizer says it's important to educate yourself on proper pet care before making a commitment to adopt one. We thought it would be great to have events like this so we can make sure that people are coming in, they're interacting with their animals before they're adopting them to make sure that they know what they need to do to care for it and that they're getting a nice quality pet for their family. Adam says her favorite part of the event is being able to educate the public on these animals. New tiny treasures are being unveiled at Windsor Castle in England to celebrate the 100th anniversary of Queen Mary's dollhouse. CBS's Tina Krause takes us inside what's billed as the largest and most famous dollhouse in the world. Royal fans are getting a glimpse inside a royal residence like never before. Windsor Castle is lifting the lid on the lavish Queen Mary's dollhouse. It's got a grandeur to it, but it's not a full-scale palace. It's very much a house that a miniature family might live in. The royal replica was built in the 1920s. King George V wanted it for his wife. Initially, it was intended to just be a gift to Queen Mary um, because she was very fond of anything that was miniature. But gradually, as the project progressed, it turned into um, a showcase for British craftsmanship. Now, tiny treasures usually kept hidden inside the house are being unveiled, like this concert grand piano, as petite as they come. It's properly strung, you can press down the keys. And of course, the crown jewels adorned with real gems. So there are touches like the thrones in the throne room, but also sort of just ordinary domestic life. Including a very small Singer sewing machine. This little flap comes up and is hinged properly and an eensy weensy Hoover vacuum, a relatively new invention back then. And the real key thing to it was that it should be as true to life as possible. So we have running water, we have working lifts and electric light. All the finest features in a miniature mansion open to visitors for many years to come. Wow, so many details there. The dollhouse also has a fully stocked wine cellar filled with bottles of fine wine, of course, champagne, London gin, and even some barrels of whiskey. The time now is 636. Here's News 8 meteorologist Jeff Andrews to tell us what to expect for our morning commute. Hi, Jeff. Hello, Alexandra. I think uh, you're going to be okay. We're all okay. See that? Caution, though. Why? All right, the side roads, precipitation potential, PM commute. Eh, yes, I'm not expecting anything. All right, we have the southerly winds. That's why I have the caution. Some blowing and drifting on some of the rural roads, the east-west roads. I encountered some of it yesterday, so it's not like monstrous drifts, but enough to impact your driving, or at least potentially. 24 La Crosse is 12 in Eau Claire right now. Ladysmith at 15. That southerly flow of warmth, moisture hasn't quite made it up that far, impacted that far north. 34, the expected high in La Crosse today. Mild south wind at 5 to 15 miles an hour. Tonight, dropping down to a mere 30. Not 30 below, 30 above. Light winds for the most part. Today, 33 for the Eau Claire high. Tonight, dropping down to 26. A quiet, a mild night ahead. Eau Claire, all right. This, what's this mean for us? You see the southerly flow. It's a ridge. The cold Canadian air. All right, with this, it's going to impact our temperatures and also pre uh, precipitation chances. I'm going to go through that. I have your full forecast in less than five minutes. Coming up in the Buzz Report, though, following that, there's a new rom-com in the theaters now. Lucy Hale and a Matt Wolf star in that. Take a look at it, which brings me to you in just a few minutes. Stay with us. We'll be right back.
Earn now, spend later during Blaine's Farm and Fleet's Rewards Members Dollar Days. Now through the end of January, Rewards Members earn $10 in Blaine's Bucks for every $100 spent in store to redeem later just like cash. Start earning now on new resealable deluxe mixed nuts or whole cashews, $17.99. Rewards Members save an extra two bucks. And 20 pound bags of Blaine's brand Easy Scoop Cat Litter, two for 14 bucks. Earn Blaine's Bucks now to spend later during Blaine's Farm and Fleet's Rewards Members Dollar Days. They say post it or it didn't happen. But out here, in the places we were made for, you'll have to take our word for it. Find somewhere the internet's never been. With the family of Broncos designed to get you there. Get one nine financing for 66 months plus 2,000 flex by cash on Bronco Sport. Only at your local Northland Ford dealers. Are you looking for a high-paying career without any experience? Chart Industries has the opportunity you've been waiting for. Starting wage $30 per hour, highest pay in the area, guaranteed 40 hours, and so much more. If you are making less than $60,000 and want a healthy work-life balance, apply at jobs.chartindustries.com today. That's jobs.chartindustries.com. Years ago, it was my job to convince people to buy overpriced stuff they couldn't afford, they didn't want, and they didn't even need. Well, after doing that for two years, I decided people need to be informed, not convinced. So don't you think it's time to discover Firefighters Credit Union where you can be informed and not convinced? Cause everybody's welcome, Firefighters Credit Union. Cold weather and winter winds remind us that old windows and doors are not our friends. New windows and doors, expertly installed by certified installers, bring comfort, convenience, energy savings, and a great new look. Begin now in choosing just the right windows for your home. Order now and avoid the inevitable price increase in the new year. No worries about missing a promotion. The Board Store offers you the best possible price every day and any day. Contact us online or visit our showroom for a prompt free estimate on windows and doors or other home improvements. Luther High School, a powerhouse in culture and academics. Our students are given the tools for high school academic success while also enjoying athletics, choir, and band. Our on-site industrial arts program provides advanced welding and advanced woodworking programs along with Industry 4.0 classes. Luther High School is a Wisconsin parental choice school. All families who apply to Luther receive tuition grants. Your Luther High School, Christ-centered education, encouraging and preparing students for life. For more information, go to lutherhigh.org or find us on Facebook at We Love Luther. Good morning, glad you're with us on your Monday morning, start of a new day, new week. It's almost quarter till 7, 641. Notice the temperatures compared to what we've been seeing. seeing. We're in the 20s across the area. Sparta, Viroco 23, still seeing some teens. We have southerly flow. I'll show you the winds in a second. It hasn't really impacted that far north yet. The winds are generally on the lighter side. They'll be out of the south through the day, continuing to add. A little more uh, milder conditions for us and a little more moisture slowly as well. This is what it feels like with that breeze right now. Generally in the teens across the area, see Winona 21, lighter winds. Eau Claire, the air temperature is 12 and it feels like 12. The winds are pretty negligible. In other words, non-existent uh, that far north at this point. All right, the middle of January, this part of January, we're rock bottom as far as our average high temperature. It's about 27. Then they start to climb as we get towards the end of January. We're seeing a flow of moisture, the warmth along with it, an atmospheric river. For us, we're not necessarily seeing any of this. Here's La Crosse right now, Chicago, Madison. It's in the form of light snow, perhaps, some flurries, a wintry mix, some freezing in there where you see the purple as well. We just have cloud cover across our area right now. That's my expectation for the day. On Sky Tracker, you notice, there actually is a cold front. We're talking about milder temperatures, but there is a cold front lurking to our north and west. It is going to skate across the area on uh, at least through the day on our Tuesday on the well, really along it and ahead of it, the possibility of seeing some light snow more 
Southeastern Wisconsin's way it's looking right now. Cloudy today, temperatures headed to the low 30s with a southerly breeze about 10 miles an hour, give or take. Over the two week stretch, this is kind of a stretch going two weeks out. It's from the Climate Prediction Center. This color equates to 80 to 90% certainty that we're going to be above average through the month of January. Over the eight day stretch in your eight day forecast, certainly verifies mid upper 30s. The uh, uh, precipitation potential there. All right, 20% uh, today and Tuesday. On a Wednesday, 30%, but 40% on our Thursday. The high temperatures, as I said, generally in the mid and upper 30s, and it continues into the upcoming weekend. In our morning buzz report, kicking things off, a uh, look at the box office recap for the weekend. Migration stayed in fifth place, bringing in $5.3 million. Anyone But You continued its strong run, raking in 5.3 mil, and Wonka pulling off another $6.4 million, which was good enough for third place. In second place, Jason Statham's action role in The Beekeeper brought in $8.5 million. And finally, The Mean Girls Musical made $11.7 million, good enough to hold on to the top spot at the box office. Wait, hold on. I am kind of in a weird place. Yeah, you're in a beach club coat closet. Do you think that we could just talk for a minute? Sometimes it's easier to share your secrets with a stranger than with someone you know well. That's one idea behind a new romantic comedy drama. Lucy Hale and Nat Wolf do a lot of talking after not quite hooking up at a wedding, in which brings me to you. You can watch that movie in theaters now. This is people with disabilities telling their own stories. We are one in four in America and worldwide, and we are still not included at the rate we should be. And you know what? We are changing that together by telling authentic stories. And I can't wait to see your authentic buddy comedies this year. While many in Hollywood are awaiting the next award show, a growing group of filmmakers is planning their next entries in a challenge that's growing every year. The short film competition helping change how the world views disability is back. Films have to be written, shot, and edited in five days. The genre for 2024 is buddy comedy. Oxy, Zanny, and some Soma. Pretty please. But I'm not running that type of clinic here. You ain't the only clinic in town still prescribing. Are we in the position to be turning down new patients? We're not drug dealers, Cap. That was a look at the opioid drama Junction from director and star Brian Greenberg. The film explores the origins and consequences of the epidemic from three perspectives, an addict, a doctor, and a pharmaceutical executive. Junction opens in theaters this Friday. So how is your uh, list of movies going? It's adding. I've been really mm -hmm. dialing in on the ones that you've been talking about, mm -hmm. the ones that you are kind of semi-recommending. Yes. So, uh, and how many have I seen? Right. No. No. <laughs> Procrastination. <laughs> it's it's going to happen. It's hard. You know, we get tired pretty easily waking up so early. Uh, for me, that's my problem. I just Th fall asleep. That works. I'll go with that one. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. a good reason. Yeah, yeah, that's an excuse, right? Mm -hmm. Well, before we head to break, it's time to look at today's Look Who's 8. Ezra is turning 8 years old today. He likes... Uh, well, he loves trains, building with Legos, and uh, eating candy. Yes, we've got a lot of eight-year-olds today. Julia, yes. also turning eight. She loves gymnastics, ballet, and playing soccer. Jack is turning eight years old today. All right, he loves playing video games and painting while watching Bob Ross reruns. I wonder who turned him on to that. Yeah, right, but what better thing to watch while yeah. painting? We've got Evelyn, also turning eight. She loves playing different sports and reading. All right, Quinn is also turning eight years old. She loves making friends and Elvis. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. No, I know. And we've got Glennis turning 80 years old today. She loves being around her family and her flower garden. If you know somebody special turning eight, 18, 88, eight months, what have you, we love to feature them. Just upload their photo to our website, news8000.com. Look for the Submit Pictures button under the Home tab of the website. Time now is 647. Stay with us. We have everything you need to know in five minutes or less. Your morning news now is right after the break. Coming up on CBS Mornings, we're just one day away from the first in the nation presidential primary here in New Hampshire. I'm in Manchester. 
team coverage will follow. We're going to talk about what Ron DeSantis dropping out of the race means for everybody else. Plus, you're going to hear what voters told me about the issues that concern them the most here in the Granite State. And beyond politics, Anthony Mason goes for a drive with rising country star Britney Spencer. She tells him how cruising through Nashville helped create her debut album. And in sports, we are now down to the final four in the NFL. Nate and James Brown break down what was an epic weekend of playoff games as we get closer to Super Bowl 58 on the only station that really matters, CBS. We'll see you at 7. hy hot deals are burning hot. hy pasta, just 88 cents. Honey crisp apples, just 98 cents a pound. And hy Angus Reserve sirloins, just $5.99 a pound. Only at hy -Vee. The camper, it has been a reliable companion for your family's good times. But after years of use, it is showing some wear and tear. A broken window from an errant baseball, a couch that your dog allegedly chewed on, and an AC unit that doesn't work like it should. It's time to call Jim's Truck and Trailer Coachworks. We have been improving your family's camper since 1970. Call us today and we will make your camper feel brand new. Jim's Truck and Trailer Coachworks, repair, refinish, remarkable. Right now with Papa Murphy's, we've got a great deal. Which means I make more great pizza. It's not an I thing, Dad. It's a we thing. Yeah, but I ordered it online. I did the taking. I did the baking. There's no I in tea, honey. There is an I in pizza. Right now, get a large two-topping take-and-bake pizza for just $10.99. Papa Murphy's. We make great pizza, so you can make the pizza great. Such a great deal. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. Transform the look of your kitchen with big savings from Menards. Countertops are the center of a home, and Menards carries a great selection from elegant to everyday options. And with easy installation that you can do yourself with durability that will last you from crayons to calculus. Transform everyday spaces into gathering places with custom craft countertops. Now at Menards, laminate countertop is on sale starting at just $7.49 per square foot. Save big money at Menards. Nicolay Law, Russell Nicolay speaking. Yeah, I'm the guy in the billboards. You got me. Whoa, 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 man. If they want the real Nicolay, they... Wait, you are the real Nicolay. I'm the real Nicolay. You're the real Nicolay. I'm the real Nicolay. You're the real Nicolay. We're, We're both, both the, the real Nicolay. Nicolay. Hey, man, you better get back to that phone call. Oh, thanks. Yeah, sorry about that, uh, just talking to myself. Yeah, you got the real Nicolay here. Yeah, we can help you. Yep, billboards, baby. Save every day with hy -Vee Perks prices. Fresh Express Garden Salad, hy -Vee Perks price, $1.48. Chicken breasts, hy -Vee Perks price, $2.48 a pound. And five pounds of potatoes, hy -Vee Perks price, $2.49. Sign up for hy -Vee Perks. Emily Brown on News 8 Now. You've got a plus service for movies, plus a few plus services for your favorite TV shows, plus a few extra, plus all those pluses add up. I guess that's why there's so many. How about a plus service that's free? Plus gives you local news, plus weather, plus sports, plus a little extra. News 8000 Plus, the plus service that's everything local. Plus, it's free. Plus, it's easy to find on any of these. Plus this. News 8, your home for Super Bowl 58. Welcome back at 651. Time for your morning news now. La Crosse's snowmobile trails will be closing this morning. In an email from La Crosse County, it was announced all snowmobile trails in the county will close at 7 this morning due to deteriorating trail conditions and forecasted warm temperatures. It's unclear right now when the trails will reopen. Wisconsin's Department of Health Services recommending blood lead tests for all children in the Badger State. The DHS says childhood lead poisoning remains a serious public health threat. Despite significant progress in recent decades, lead can still cause irreversible damage to a child's brain as it still develops. Lead poisoning often shows no obvious symptoms, which the DHS says makes early detection so crucial. The DHS recommends children ages 1 and 2 have a blood lead test. They also say kids 3 to 5 who have not been tested should do so. The water quality of the Upper Mississippi River system directly impacts your drinking water. A new report analyzing data from 1989 to 2018 shows improvement but room for more. Heavy metals and phosphorus levels have dropped, but nitrogen and chloride are rising. A 
according to the Upper Mississippi River Basin Association's report. The system spans five states, including Iowa, Minnesota, and Wisconsin. Members from the Cooley Region Coalition for Palestinian Rights met at the Winona Art Center this weekend to discuss the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. The community conversation aimed to educate and foster engagement and curiosity toward the Palestinian cause. One Lebanese-American member says it's important to have these conversations in person. It's really important to offer chances for people to come together in person. There's a lot of access on social media, online news. Uh, we feel like it's really important to have person-to-person -person engagement. For more information on this story, you can head to news8000.com. Well, another winter activity people can now start enjoying is ice skating. The ice skating rink at Pogue Park opened yesterday. The hours for the season will be Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., Saturday and Sunday, and other non-school days, noon to 8 p.m. One ice skater we spoke with says her friends were looking for an activity to simply get out of the house. Um, me and my friends, we were looking for something to do, and this is a nice, fun, free activity. Skate rentals and skate helpers were free of charge. Animal aficionados got their claws on some adoption opportunities, pet supplies, and more at the Onalaska Pet Expo this weekend. Lizards, snakes, guinea pigs, and more, all there hoping to find their forever homes. Attendees also had a chance to stock up on some essentials like toys, food, and other creature comforts. There's that snake again. The organizer says it's important to educate yourself on proper pet care before making the commitment to adopt. We thought it would be great to have events like this so we can make sure that people are coming in, they're interacting with their animals before they're adopting them to make sure that they know what they need to do to care for it and that they're getting a nice quality pet for their family. And Adam says her favorite part of the event is being able to educate the public on these animals. White snakes are just so creepy, even creepier. I'd say so. Than snakes in general. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, to each their own. <laughs> yes, for sure. Not my choice of pet. No, I'm going to stay with, you know, the traditional, so to speak. All right, uh, here's how things are looking today across the area. Your planner. By noon, pretty close to the freezing mark. A lot of cloud cover today. I'm not really expecting precipitation for most of us. Far southern portion of the state, perhaps. Uh, it's Tuesday, tomorrow, 20% chance of seeing something for us. It's better towards Thursday. Various opportunities. It could be in various forms. For us, I think it could be in the form of maybe some light rain, but regardless, any way you look at it, back to mild, more December-like conditions. Yes, looking good. Well, one nine-year-old in Detroit is over the moon this morning after his favorite, favorite football player called him out. Detroit Lions defensive end Aiden Hutchinson said Connor Adcock is his good luck charm after winning Sunday. Hutchinson became aware of Connor because of game day prediction videos he's been making. When he and his mom post them online, they tag Hutchinson and his House of Hutch nonprofit. That resulted in the House of Hutch naming Connor its hero of the week. His mom says it's been great for Connor, who has cerebral palsy and has battled health issues his entire life. Connor now predicting the Lions will make it to the Super Bowl. We know one team that won't be making it to the Super Bowl. Is it too soon to say that? There is a cheese head under the desk, I noticed. Is that right? I'm not sure what it's doing there. I don't know who that belongs to. I hope they've taken a picture and posted or something. It's not mine. They've got to come collect it, yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We'll see you back here at noon. Have a great day, everyone.